So I'm going to give Cody a pretty severe myofascial restriction at his right hip. Good. Now, first of all, can you see how Cody has started to kind of develop some interesting posture? Good. Cody, try to lift your arms for me, please. See where the restriction is? It's even worse than before, by the way. Did you notice that? And then drop the arms back down. Now, Cody's going to attempt to walk with this myofascial restriction. So we're going to go for a little walk. And he's going to walk a little bit interestingly, right? OK? And we're going to back it up so we don't fall on Dr. Rob. Good? OK? So what I want you to see is that, first of all, you already saw how this affects his shoulders. Think about his neck. Can you imagine what might be happening at this hip over here? how that might be compensating and actually wearing on things, maybe even wearing cartilage from the position. Of course, this hip is probably not very happy, and this knee could have serious problems. With this pattern, Cody can have plantar fasciitis on his left foot because it has to deal with severe loads and modified impact with every step to try to stabilize him. This is the interesting with fascia. Where you think it is, it ain't, OK? And the other point is, can you imagine his lumbar spine? I dare anyone to go for a walk with this. Half an hour. Tell me how your back feels. OK, so I'll set Cody free, proverbially and literally. Thank you, Cody. Everybody, please give him a hand for me.